Good evening, Facebook. Welcome. My name is Peter Momagos from Beyond the Enemy Gates Ministries and Belito Christian Center. We're doing, uh, we call it a prayer nugget. It's a Monday night. Um, and I'm going to share with you the five supernatural benefits of fasting. Because uh, from Thursday, we go into a 21-day uh, partial fast, uh, which is awesome. And I recommend that if you need breakthrough, that you join. If you joining me, just say uh, good evening. Where are you coming from? So that I know that I'm not on my own. Hi, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Pietro, true welcome. Sure, I, I try and get the names right just by seeing the picture. And sometimes I think to myself, have I said the right thing? But anyway, um, the thing is, is that um, I know there's many people that are connected to me uh, that should actually be doing the fast. But I can only recommend that you do the fast and actually also uh, stand in the gap for yourself. I'll stand in the gap for you. It's no problem. I'll pray for you um, because... Um, over the 21 days, we've got quite a bit of time to read the word because we focus, we don't do anything else and to pray. So I'll send out a message, maybe Thursday, Friday, just to say, um, is there anything that I can pray for you um, on during the fast? Because uh, the power of agreement is a multiplication of prayer power. And I understood that very early on, is that if we pray together, there's so much more firepower, if I can put it that way, when we deal with the enemy. And particularly when we deal with issues in our own lives. So be encouraged. Um, there are not too many people on tonight. Uh, people that have actually asked me to do the fast are m missing in action a little bit. I encourage you to come back um, because it's important. If you're busy, different story. Um, but if you... Um, drawing away from the Lord, because that does happen, uh, especially when you get drawn into different relationships. Uh, sometimes you're drawn away from God, and hopefully it's only temporary, and you come back, because when you get into relationships, and I'm talking friendship, I'm talking, um, how can I put it, um, um, Romance, if I can put it that way, if that's the word I'm looking for. Hi, Javed, welcome. Um, th that you should actually go in a direction of drawing closer to the Lord. Because uh, every relationship that you get into, if it's taking you away from God, it's not a godly relationship. That's one way of telling it. If you're doing things and participating uh, in things with people that take you away from God, it's not a godly relationship. It's that simple. Hi, Dawn. Welcome. Uh, we're going to pray uh, for the same people that we prayed for the other night for COVID uh, and also for the ca the cancer uh, patients because I think I got the names mixed up somehow. But I've been given the correct uh, names of the people. So we stand in the gap for them tonight again. Um, and be blessed. Uh, we're gonna speak. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna labor the point. Hi, Cora. Welcome. Nice to see you. I trust that you've got some victory in your in your life and in the in the area that we prayed for, um, because we need to get the victory. Um, I'm gonna be praying specifically for myself for breakthrough um, in my personal life, uh, in the situation that I'm facing as far as. Um, Jezebel is concerned. I've started to bring that into my daily prayer routine again because I, I neglected it a little bit. But I think I need to deal with Jezebel on a daily basis uh, to actually uh, get the enemy under my feet. And then also I'm going to be trusting the Lord for supernatural healing in my body. So whatever you need, I'll send out a, a, a private message. Uh, I put up the post of Dr. Felix's um, again tonight, um, so that you can request that you join. I see that he's answered many people. So he's seen uh, the people that have requested to join. So if you have decided or you're still deciding 
uh, that you're going to join because we're in lockdown. There's no church. There's no gatherings. There should be no... Um, um, how can I put it? Even gatherings of up to five, six, seven people in houses uh, shouldn't really be happening. Um, but we trust the Lord. Um, and uh, join, join, because you'll have the 14 days, even if you're working, um, just make the sacrifice. He'll give you prayer points every day to pray, morning, midday, evening. And I can assure you that the prayer session in the evening is loaded and it, it will equip you going forward and also to understand um, uh, the depth of prayer, okay? Because he teaches uh, the word, but he, I've never listened to a message that he's ever, I've ever listened to, whether it's been a live stream or whether it's been at the fraternal. I've learned something every single time. So that's what encourages me. Um, so let's go tonight. Um, the five supernatural benefits of fasting in Isaiah uh, chapter 58, verse 8 and 9. The five are in there. God spoke to Israel in Isaiah 58, and he outlined what would begin to happen as they fasted and prayed. Some people think that this was only for the nation of Israel in the Old Testament. But the Bible teaches us that the new covenant was established on better promises. And if he did it for them, then it flows through into the new covenant for us. Uh, point number one, then your light shall break forth like the morning. Verse eight. Point number two, your healing shall spring forth speedily. Verse eight. Point three, and your righteousness shall go before you. Verse eight. Point number four, the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. And point number five, then you shall call and the Lord will answer you. Um, I've actually jumped a little bit. I'm not going to go through all the detail. I'm just going to explain what every one of those points actually mean. Hi, Marilyn. Welcome. Um, you know, uh, we were talking earlier. Uh, when we get under pressure, okay, and I speak to myself now too. Hi, uh, Martin, welcome. Uh, when we get under pressure, the first thing that we should do, and I know we don't do it sometimes because maybe um, we a little bit down. Maybe we allow the enemy to get to our thinking, which is probably uh, the way he gets to us mostly. Uh, and we draw away from the Lord. Okay. Whereas we should be drawing nearer. And whenever I'm in a jam or in a situation, if I go and pray um, and set myself apart for a number of hours, I always come out of that session stronger than before. So be encouraged. Um, find someone that you can trust, that you can speak to, that you can share with. Um, I have uh, a James 516 confession partner uh, that lives in Mauritius now, but I can phone him anytime on WhatsApp and share what I need to confess because she, when you confess your sins to one another and you con and, and, and you pray for one another, you are healed. Okay. When you pray for one another. So it's key to have someone that will cover you and pray for you and that you must be comfortable with that. They will never, ever repeat what you've actually discussed with them and vice versa. So let's just go um, to the point number one. Then your, your light shall break forth like the morning. As you fast and pray, you begin to get insight and revelation of his word that you never knew before. The things that you read before that you never understood. Uh, are revealed to you by illumination and you begin to walk in the truth and the power of God's word. Then your light shall break forth like the morning. You know, often um, we know things. You know, often I meet people and I, I look at them and I know things about them when I meet them. And I think, how do I know that? It's by the Spirit. Okay? You will be quickened in the Spirit. You know, when we pray, also we pray for a greater measure of insight, foresight, revelation, and inspiration. That is the spiritual realm. 
so that you come out of the 2020 vision that we actually exist in, in the physical, and we go into the spiritual realm, and we begin to know, begin to hear things in the spirit, okay? And that is an acceleration that happens while you fast. You know, while you're fasting, you could be praying for someone, you could be praying for uh, a situation, and as you pray, God speaks to you. He gives you the answer. You can hear it. Okay, point number two, your healing shall spring forth speedily. If there's anyone that's watching, uh, that's taking communion for healing in your body, you should actually be on this fast, okay? Because your healing to your physical body will come speedily when you fast. As you fast and pray, the Bible says that your healing will spring forth speedily. So according to the word, there is a healing benefit attached to fasting and praying. Even though we are healed by the covenant of redemption, there are healing benefits that come as we fast and pray that we appropriate by faith that are a promise of God. So that is over and above. Hi, Robin. Welcome. So that's over and above taking communion and believing God for your healing in your physical body. Um, that when you fast and pray, that your healing comes forth or springs forth speedily. Okay. And point number three, your righteousness shall go before you. What this means is that the Lord is our righteousness. Jeremiah 23 verse 5 says that I will raise to David a branch of righteousness. A king shall reign and prosper and execute judgment and righteousness in the earth. The Lord goes before us when we fast and pray, fighting our battles, removing obstacles that are in our way. Like when the Lord said to King Cyrus in Isaiah 45 verse 2, I will go before you and make straight. I will break in pieces the gates of bronze and cut bars of iron. So when you fast and pray, even though you might not feel it, the Lord is walk, working on your behalf. And whatever needs to be cleared from in front of you, whatever is limiting you, okay, that period that you fast and pray in, there's a supernatural intervention and God removes your ob the obstacles that are preventing you from getting breakthrough. Um, when you fast and pray, <coughs> pardon me, the Lord goes out in front of you and begins to make crooked places in your life straight and remove obstacles that you are facing supernaturally and fight your battles for you. So you actually uh, are, are actually on a slipstream, if I can put it that way. The Lord goes before you, you behind. So he's fighting the battles and you flowing straight behind you in a slipstream. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you. And then point number four, the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Verse number eight, the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard and he will protect you from behind. Ephesians six, all of the armor mentioned in Ephesians six protects only the front of the body. The Bible tells us that it is only the glory of the Lord that will guard us from behind. When you fast and pray, your spiritual senses are activated so that God will even show you things about the future. In fact, in Jeremiah 33 verse 3, God says, Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. So while you fast and pray, God begins to speak to you about what you're praying for and what you need breakthrough for. If, if you need wisdom in a situation, he will give you the wisdom. But you need to ask for it. And then point number five. Uh, then, you, then you shall call and the Lord will answer. There are many examples of people who fasted and prayed and received their answer from God. Do you need to fast and pray only to get your answer from God? No, not at all. You, need, you, you get your answer from all types of prayer. But what happens is that when you fast and pray, your answers will come more speedily and will be expedited from heaven. He rewards those that diligently seek him, Hebrews 11 verse 6. So fasting and prayer is an indication to God that you are seeking him with your whole heart. Okay, and it's only for 21 days. Um, you eat in the morning. Uh, you can drink whatever you like during the day. And then you break fast at six o'clock. And the prayer session, if it, if I remember correctly, is from about 
half past five, 20 past five, so that we, when we hit six o'clock, we finish and then we have a light meal. So I encourage you to join. If you've never fasted before, it will get you to another level in your work, walk with the Lord and it will encourage you as the breakthrough comes. You know, often um, when the first time you do something, God moves. You know, when you old hat at it and um, maybe he doesn't move so quickly because he wants to take you through a process. But often in the beginning, when someone gets saved, there's supernatural breakthrough that comes um, because the Lord wants to show himself strong in your life initially because he wants to keep you because he's got you. I hope that means something to you tonight. So let's take communion um, and we're going to pray for those people that we stood in the gap for before uh, because I believe that um, the person that actually asked for um, the, the people with the cancer to be prayed for is that they want to give them the, the live stream or share it with them so that they can be encouraged because you know um, sometimes when people are in the noisy battle and the fiery battle uh, it's difficult to focus um, it's difficult to concentrate so when we stand in the gap for them they are greatly encouraged and there's a move in the spirit okay whether we believe it or not whether we feel it or not when we pray for people for healing God moves, okay? We're not sure exactly how he moves in each situation, but he does. Okay, so be encouraged tonight. Um, so, Father, we come. We enter your presence once again through the blood, and we partake of the communion with the understanding that um, as we partake of the elements by faith, that our bodies are totally healed, by faith in Jesus' name. We come, we repent of our sin of the day, sin of omission, sin of commission, sin of negative word, negative thought, and negative deed. And we thank you that it is removed as far as the east is from the west. And Father, we come, we bless the elements tonight. And we thank you that as we partake of the bread, that by faith, every sickness, every disease, every infirmity, and every spirit of infirmity that's in our bodies is totally swallowed up by the bread tonight, in Jesus' name, the bread. The blood. Father, we come, we partake of the blood once again tonight with the understanding that, number one, it elicits help from above, that every situation that we find ourselves in tonight whether it be physically, emotionally, spiritually, even financially, that your hand would move on our behalf tonight and that we would certainly elicit help from above and we thank you for it in Jesus' name. And Father, we come, we partake of the blood with the understanding that it begins to open our spiritual eyes, that we begin to see, begin to hear, begin to know that we have a greater measure of, of insight, foresight, revelation and inspiration, particularly to that which pertains to the secrets and the mysteries of God. And the greatest secret and mystery that we will ever experience and know is your plan for our lives. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. And Father, we come, we partake of the blood with the understanding that it wards off every sickness, every disease and every virus that's floating in the round in the atmosphere, including Corona. And we pray a hedge of protection around our bodies tonight, by faith, in Jesus' name, the blood. <coughs> and all God's children said, Amen. The juice actually started to go down the wrong way. Um, so let's just stand in the gap and pray for those people tonight. So Father, we come and we lift up the people that we know that we're standing in the gap for tonight. If you know anybody else, please pray for them, stand in the gap, uh, encourage them, uh, send them the Healing by the Holy Communion notes. They're on my Facebook profile. You can share them. So Father, we come and we lift up those people that are suffering from uh, the virus that is called Corona. We lift up the spirit that's behind that virus. We bind it tonight by the power of agreement. We break its power over their bodies tonight. We command it to loose them. And Father, we thank you 
that we can say, go in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that your hand is upon them, that they are healed by the stripes of Jesus from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet. We speak to their respiratory systems tonight and we declare healing from the north, south, east and west. And Father, we, we petition you and we thank you that you would give them an extension of days. We commit it to you and we thank you for it in Jesus' name. And Father, we come and we lift up the spirit of death that would seek to attach itself to some of those people tonight. We lift up Auntie Watkins, Cecilia De Silva, um, Jacques and Menanda Hollins, Stuart and Gidget, I think, and Sons. We lift up Marianne, Chanel and Candice. And Father, we bind that spirit of death that seeks to attach itself to their lives tonight. We break its power. We command it to loose them. And we say, go in Jesus' name. Father, we lift up those that are suffering from cancer, uh, Yasha Pretorius and Jackie James. Father, we speak to the spirit of death. In actual fact, we speak to the slough of the seed that's in the cancer in their bodies tonight. We curse it, we command it to die, and we command it to come out in Jesus' name. Father, we lift up the spirit of death that seeks to attach itself to their lives tonight. We bind that spirit. We break its power and we bring it from a high place to a low place in Jesus' name. And Father, we thank you that they would have life and life more abundantly. We thank you for it. We praise you. We worship you. We honor you. And we vow to give you all the glory, all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. And all God's children said, Amen. And amen. Thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow night. I see that the um, the temperature is picked up. It's about 19 degrees at the moment in Durban in the middle of winter. So it's fairly warm here. I'm not sure about the rest of the country, but it will start warming up. But we will certainly have some cold front. I think in a week's time we get hit by a cold front. I'm not sure where it's coming from. But I encourage you to pray. I encourage you to fast. I encourage you to read the word. If you uh, listen to the um, prophecy that I posted uh, last week uh, from Pastor Christmas, um, it will encourage you going forward, especially starting from next week going forward. And what um, what the, the, the kingdom benefits hold for us for the next six months of the year. It will totally encourage you. And I encourage you to join Thursday uh, morning with the fasting and the prayer. So bless you tonight. Have a peaceful night's sleep. Good night.